What happens if you hack Missing No into every Pokemon game? I'm Mike from Poketips, and today we're continuing this series where we hack the Pokemon games and see what Missing No or whatever the games use as their placeholder Pokemon looks like and what happens when you encounter them. Last time we left off with the Generation 5 Pokemon games, Black, White, and their sequels, so let's continue today with Generation 6. Let's see what Missing No looks like here. Alright, so the battle begins? Oh, hello darkness. Alright, so the game doesn't like it when I try to make Pokemon number zero happen, so I'm gonna try once again doing something way past the Pokedex in this game. So I'm gonna try to spawn in Pokemon number 735. So let's see what happens now. And it looks like our glitchy Bulbasaur friend is back. I know the 6th generation and 7th generation games love to use this as their glitch or placeholder Pokemon. So what I find interesting is in battle its name says Egg, but when it was sent out it had the cry of a Rotom. Alright, let's go ahead and check out its move set because I copied it with Ditto, although it looks like it doesn't have any moves, like just whoa! Alright, well we took that thing out really, really quickly. Let's go ahead and catch this bad boy. I want to go ahead and see if it has a Pokédex entry and if we could do anything fun with this one. Ooh, Master Ball. Wait, did it take the name Master Ball? What is this Dex entry? That's so weird. Registration complete, Pokémon number 735. I could have sworn it said its name was Master Ball. Give a nickname to the caught question mark. No, 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 I think I'm okay. It looks like it's back to using the name Egg again, that, that little Pokeball sprite jumping up and down looks kinda weird, but let's go ahead and check out its summary a little bit, see if there's anything fun there. So yeah, once again it has the Cry of Rotom, insanely low stats, uh, nothing interesting over here, and if I look at the moves, nothing. Nothing at all. Now, two things I want to test out. Number one, I think this is just using the data of a Rotom, which is why it has its cry, so I'm gonna feed it a few rare candies and see if it can learn any of Rotom's moves. Alright, so I've leveled it up quite a bit, and it is not learning any moves at all, so I'm not really sure what's going on with this one. I don't think it's gonna be as usable as previous generations glitch Pokemon, but now there's one more thing that I think is gonna be very interesting. So I'm gonna go put this Pokemon in the PC, and we're gonna hop into Pokemon Bank and see if Bank recognizes this as a Pokemon, because you know it has the Pokedex number 735, so maybe it'll think it's a Pokemon from Sun and Moon. Alright, we're in Pokemon Bank. Let's check out my Pokemon X save file and see if that glitch Pokemon it can be read. Look at that! That's insane! It actually reads it as a Gumshoes! Wait, a water type Gumshoes? So I think I really just busted the game right there. I have a Gumshoes in Pokemon X version right now. Alright, now the question is can I put this thing in Pokemon Bank? Yes, I can! Alright, so Bank will totally let me transfer this Pokemon around, this glitchy mess of a Pokemon, so now you know what I have to do. I'm gonna test out Missing No in Pokemon Sun and Moon, but before I do that, I wanna see if I can transfer this Water-type Gumshoes into Sun and Moon, and how those games are gonna react. Okay, let's check him out on the PC now, the Water-type Gumshoes. Where did I put him? Yep. Oh, 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 that's boring. So it turned back into a normal type once I put him in game. And that's really funny, it says it's from the Kalos region as well. It also has no move, so- oh, whoa! Power 999, accuracy 999, Japanese text 2345678, what in the world is this move? Alright, let's take this guy out into a battle real quick. <laughs> this is pretty crazy for me, because this is like a cross-generational missing no glitch right now. Hacking in this random glitchy Pokemon into Pokemon X, and then transferring it up to Pokemon Moon, and now we get to use them. Okay, yeah, it just turns out into struggle. Okay, so that glitchy mess, I'm assuming that's just what happens when you look at your Pokemon's moves when they don't have any. Kind of weird seeing that, though. But how crazy is this? Transferring a glitch Pokemon from X all the way up to Sun. So we've already seen some weird stuff in Pokemon Sun and Moon by transferring that glitch Pokemon over, but now let's see what Missing No looks like when you encounter it in Sun and Moon. Alright, and there we go, we're back with the Sneasel? Okay, why are you copying my Pokemon's name, buddy? What's going on there? Oh, wow. Okay, this is really weird. 
So first things first, we're back with the shiny glitchy Bulbasaur. Second, there is no information about this Pokemon on the field at all. And third, on the bottom screen, for some reason, it is showing a Mega Charizard X Sprite. I'm trying to press on it, but nothing's happening. I can press on my Sneasel and that's fine. All right, that's kind of weird. Should I attack this thing? I kind of want to. You know what? I'm just going to swap and see what it does. I'm going to swap and let's see what happens. Uh, I tried swapping and the battle just ended. All right, then. Okay. I really think it is the weirdest thing how there's no information for this Pokemon on the field. And wait a second. Wow, we can't even catch this thing. It won't even let us catch this glitchy missing no. After messing around with the game a little bit more, I was able to basically make the same thing that happened in X and Y happen in Sun and Moon as well. They had cries of other Pokemon, looked like a regular Bulbasaur, and had that weird Pokeball menu sprite. And let me tell you, there is nothing freakier than encountering a glitchy Bulbasaur with the cry of a Giratina. Now moving on to the final Generation 7 games, and the first Pokemon games are the Nintendo Switch, Pokemon, Let's Go Pikachu, and Eevee. These games are a little different than the other games I've messed with so far. In these games, you could actually see the wild Pokemon in the overworld before you actually encounter them. However, if I modify the wild Pokemon data and try to make the Pokemon that we can encounter in-game Pokemon number zero, it doesn't really work out the way I want it to. So I'm gonna have to encounter Missingno in a different way. Instead, I'm gonna make the game trade me a Missingno. In Cerulean City, there's a girl in a Pokemon Center who wants a regular Rattata. In return, she'll give you the Alolan Rattata. But instead, I'm gonna change the Pokemon that she gives me to Pokemon number zero, Missing No. Let's go ahead and see what happens. Alright, and here we are now with the moment of truth. So we're gonna try trading that Rattata we just caught for her so-called Rattata, even though it's going to be, yup, you can see it right there. <laughs> That's definitely not a Rattata. That will be a missing no if it will actually go through. Alright, sending Rattata to Tatiana. Goodbye, Rattata. And I'm really curious to see if this will work. I know it works with some glitch Pokemon. Ooh, it looks like we're getting something kind of weird back. And Tatiana sent over egg. Yay, we got ourselves an egg. Oh, and I guess that's it. Game crashes. All right, so we're going to try this again, except this time instead of Pokemon number zero, we're going to try to get Pokemon number 810. And it's saying other trainers Pokemon is an egg at level 12. All right, that's an interesting start already. Now, I'm curious to know what Pokemon number 810 actually is. I think it's more than likely going to be Grookey, but we don't have the national Pokedex number for it yet. And who knows, maybe in Generation 8, they'll put like another secret Pokemon in the first slot of the Pokedex like they did in Generation 5. But anyway, will this work, or is this going to crash the game again? Tatiana sent over an egg. I'm not liking how this is looking. Oh, all right, we're getting a Dex entry. Egg's dad will be added to the Pokedex. And okay, there we go. Pokedex number 000, height question mark, weight question mark. I was actually really expecting the game to crash right there, but it actually went. Were you surprised? My Rattata is from the Alola region. Uh, Tatiana, that doesn't look like a Rattata to me. Let me try to take it out of the Pokeball. I don't think it's gonna work. It says Egg is traveling alongside of you right now, but I cannot imagine an Egg possibly following me around. Again, I've done stuff like this before, and usually the Eggs don't follow me. So yeah, no Egg appearing in the overworld, but let's check him out, number 810. Alright, it's the normal type level 12, Brave Nature, said it was met in a Link trade, takes plenty of siestas, and knows the move, Teleport. And last but not least, you know we have to test him out in the battle, so let's go visit our boy Camper Shanene. It's been a long time since I've seen you, Camper Shane. And let's send out our egg. Now I'm trying to figure out what this Pokemon is supposed to be actually. Just like in Diamond and Pearl when I was messing around with Pokemon past the Pokedex number and I realized one of them was a Deoxys form, I'm believing this egg is a form of something else, although I can't exactly figure out what it is. It's a normal type that knows teleport and its stats don't really lead me in any direction. Oh well, let's go use that teleport in battle. Spearow used Focus Energy, it's gonna focus up hard against me, not like you really need to focus up against an egg, and Egg is gonna use Teleport, look at that! 
Look at that guy getting out of here. All right, bye-bye, egg. <laughs> well, I think that's enough messing around with this egg. Thank you so much, Camper Shane, for being a great participant. As usual, you're always amazing. Also, a quick note here regarding part 1. I said I would try transferring Missing No from black and white to X and Y. However, I noticed that after I deposit Missing No in the PC, if I go and try to check it later, it's gone. So, I can't really transfer it. And with that, you now know what Missing No looks like in every Pokemon game. If you enjoyed watching this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content just like this, and my friends, I'll be seeing you in the next one.